Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. In today's update, as you can tell by my thumbnail and uh, the thing, the picture behind me, <laughs> is talking about stopping voter suppression. And that is actually our topic for today, of voter suppression and why the Republicans are trying to push it. Well, let's, uh, as I take a, look, take a look around the United States, I see a lot of crap going on. In fact, my attention is going over to Georgia because basically they are trying to pass 253 voter suppression laws in Georgia as well as other Republican-run states. And they are actually trying to do all this stuff behind closed doors. So doing it in secret. It makes you wonder what they're hiding. Why are they doing it behind a closed door in secret? I mean, why not let it, you know, be out in public so the public can say, hey, look, this isn't right. But they just want to do it behind closed doors. So let's see what uh, Georgia Senate State Republican is actually doing at this present time. She's a Democrat, by the way. And the governor of, Texas, uh, of Georgia is a Republican. So let's see what she's doing right now. This is Park Cannon, a Georgia state rep, recently arrested because she did this. We'll get to that, but first, this is Brian Kemp, who beat Stacey Abrams for governor of Georgia in 2018. How? Kemp had the job of supervising the election in which he was running. That's like the Handmaid's Tale running Planned Parenthood. So, Kemp purged 700,000 minority voters, suspended 30,000 black registrations, and closed 200 polling places in black neighborhoods. And he still won by less than 1%. So when Georgia went for Biden and two Democratic senators, Kemp and his cronies said that shit wasn't enough. So now Kemp is going after absentee ballots and shutting down more places blacks can vote. They even made it illegal to hand out water to people standing in line. Yeah, that's fucked up. So when this young state rep knocked on the door demanding to be heard, they arrested her and charged her with two felonies for simply knocking on the door. And for the record, here's how Republicans knock on the door. Goddamn right. Go fuck yourself. We're winning. Yeah. And as you saw, she was getting arrested for knocking on a door, on the governor's door, as they signed this legislation into the uh, act. And for that matter, let's find out what uh, uh, President Biden's press secretary, as well as President Biden, has to say about what's going on. Give me a second, and I'll be right back. A representative who was arrested overnight when knocking on the Georgia governor's door as he was signing that election law? I think anyone who saw that video would have been uh, deeply concerned uh, by uh, the actions that were taken by law enforcement to arrest her when she simply, by the video that was provided, uh, seemed to be knocking on the door to, uh, to see if she could watch a bill being signed into law. The largest concern here, obviously beyond her uh, being treated in the manner she was, which is of course of great concern, is the law that was put into place, which again, the president will, will have a statement from the president, uh, I expect later this afternoon. It should not be harder, it should be easier to vote. We should not l put limitations in place. People should be able to vote from home. They should be able to use absentee ballots. There should be a range of uh, restrictions that are undone, not put back in place. And that's a great concern, one he certainly shares with the elected official who was arrested. This whole initiative is, it's sick. It's sick. Deciding in some states that you cannot bring water to people standing in line waiting to vote, deciding that you're going to end voting at 5 o'clock when working people are just getting off work, deciding that there will be no absentee ballots under the most rigid circumstances. It's all designed, and I'm going to spend my time doing three things. One, trying to figure out how to pass the legislation passed by the House, number one. Number two, educating the American public. The Republican voters I know find this despicable. And as I'm sure you heard, it is now illegal to give water and food to people waiting in a voter line. Now, some of these voter lines can last up to 10 hours. And could you imagine being in a voter line for 10 hours and being hungry and thirsty and not being able to get any help at all because it's against the law now?
I mean, is that pretty messed up? I mean, like, and besides that, Georgia is also isn't the only state that actually is doing this. All the Republican states are trying to do this. I'm not sure if Utah is doing this, because that's the state I live in. Our senator is Republican, and he's Mitch. He's is uh, what's his name Mitt Romney. Says that much about pay attention to him, right? He's also Mormon, but that's besides the point. You know what? I also want to find out what Mitch McConnell is actually saying about this whole uh, voter suppression thing. So let's check out his comments. There is an unprecedented new wave of state election laws on the horizon aimed at making it harder to vote. States are not engaging in trying to suppress voters whatsoever. And to finish off, let's peek in on good old Tom, uh, Ted Cruz. Let's see what he's up to. So it's past midnight. I'm standing on the shore of the Rio Grande. The water is right behind me. I'm down on the Texas border, along with 18 senators. We made the trip to see the crisis that is playing out. We've already gone to detention facilities that are overrun, many of them with families, small children. We saw multiple mothers who were nursing infant babies who had just crossed over and were being housed in outdoor holding pens where they were sleeping on the floor and nursing their babies. We're at the edge of the river. On the other side of the river is Mexico. On the other side of the river, we have been listening to and seeing cartel members, human traffickers, right on the other side of the river, waving flashlights, yelling and taunting Americans, taunting the Border Patrol, because they know that under the current policy of the Biden administration, they can flood over here. They're getting paid. Wow. As you've seen, he is, in his video that he shot, he is in Texas at the Texas border, co border Mexico border crossing. And as you notice what he called Mexico, he called it Mexican, not Mexico. And he also started to refer to how the cartels on the other side flashing their lights, but you couldn't see them. So basically where Ted Cruz is and what he's saying is, Unfounded speculation and cannot be proven. We don't know if he was actually in Texas at the border crossing, like he said. He could have been somewhere else and hiding in the deep bushes from his wife somewhere, far as we know. So his lies just don't really add up to anything. And if you've been paying attention the past past couple of weeks, you've seen that the the um, CPAC and their Nazi swastika on the floor and them worshiping a golden statue of Trump. And how bad it's been getting lately since uh, the insurrection on January 16th. And basically, as you can also see inside what Ted Cruz says, he's also blaming President Biden. Can you believe that the Republicans are attempting to make this, uh, <clears throat> sorry, this a dictator country? Uh, basically, they're committing treason and should be tried for such and removed from power. Because... Why do you want a Republican-run country? Don't his pawns, because that's what they are right now, is his pawns, realize is if they put a dictator in office, he's not going to need them no more. He's going to get rid of them, and they'll be out on the streets. Well, so to speak, because they actually have millions. So they'll be living in their little posh houses, sucking, sucking his ass, but having no power. But this is my opinion, and I appreciate your time for listening. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll broadcast when more information comes across my ears. Till then, have a great night. Bye. Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party, I'm there, I get paid a fee. Let's ride and I, and I won't be long till I hit the guns fly, hit the guns fly. I'm living out in 